I've been losing followers on Instagram and on YouTube. It's just not really growing. Got it. What's the what's the outcome you really want from this? Like, what's your goal? So my goal is honestly to just grow in numbers because. Hey guys, you're watching the Ask Jade Show where you have a question about social media growth and I have an answer and I'm gonna sip my tea as we're uh, calling people up. It's cold. I'm literally gonna call you guys up if you wanna be on the next Ask Jade Show. All I gotta do is just watch the very end to learn how. What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name's Jade and I hope you're having the best day ever. Uh, let's shake hands, yeah. So currently I'm in LA working on content for you guys, but this channel is supposed to help you grow on social media. So whatever I tell this video will have tremendous value, I promise. I'm not a clickbait YouTuber. Just stay to the end if you want to learn how to grow your profile. It is so wind- no, for real, I hope you have a great- I just hope you're doing well. Like I literally just hope- I just wish the best for you guys. You know? Positivity. I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur. Just, just a little bio if you don't know me. The agenda for today is- oh! My Uber's here. We're actually getting poke and acai bowls with my friend. There's a car, okay. The car just like slowly driving by me. I just don't like that. Everyone is wondering, this is where I grew up. Um, it's very, it's VQ. There's like a gated community. So yeah, I used to live in LA, fun fact. <laughs> but for real, I'm gonna put you guys right there. You know, my Uber's taking a long time. Outfit of the day, we got a backpack from Iceland. Got a shirt from London. We got my sweatpants from Goodwill. And we got my Birkenstocks, some $2 glasses on Wish. Yeah. Uh, Instagram talk, cool. For real, I feel like my content on YouTube has been tremendous help to you guys, but I'm always revising it. So comment below if you ever have a question. I'm always here to help you. For the one thing I did want to talk about today was a topic that I literally got asked so many times and I never knew how to answer it. It's the question, how do I pick my niche on Instagram or YouTube? How do I grow my profile? with my niche. Guys, I don't even know what the fuck, the word niche gets me on edge. It sounds like leech. Niche, leech, come on. But anyways, this question was hard to answer because I always knew my niche. I always knew who I wanted to target, right? A niche is a segment of a market. You know, I always knew who I wanted to target because I, when I was younger, I wanted attention from people that liked me. And I figured it out over time. And a lot of you guys don't know who you wanna be, what you wanna do. It's like the same thing, you know, when your relatives that like, come over from like holiday season, they're like, hey, Eric, what do you want to be when you grow up? What college do you want to go to? You're like, shut up, grandpa. So this is the thing. I, and I realized this on a get-go, and I will explain this in further detail. Niche, you don't pick a niche. The niche picks you, AKA, you don't decide who your audience is, who you're gonna do, what you're gonna do. You're gonna find that out later because that niche picks you. The, the market will tell you if you're good enough. So you like, if you're an artist, maybe you know the style you want, but you don't know necessarily who your music is for because I've just learned. Like literally just now. No one's ever going, you're not gonna pick it, it's gonna tell you, you're gonna take it on, it's a challenge. And it's up to you whether you wanna take the challenge or not. Because other times, sometimes your niche or your purpose, you know, you can fill in the blank. It's stuff you don't wanna do. It's like, for example, a lot of you guys have an audience that's maybe younger, you don't want a young ass kid audience, but you realize that's who you're supposed to help. So a lot of you guys go into social media thinking, oh, this is what I wanna do, This, is, and you think that you're like a lifestyle YouTuber. Like, no. Some of you guys were saying that I pronounced niche wrong, it's niche, niche, what the fuck? If you're stressing about, about picking your industry or picking your audience, it's okay, it takes time. And my biggest tip ever is to let it pick you. And I'll go into detail after. But right now, my neighbor's coming. Oh, also, so far enjoy my content, like semi. Uh, give this video a like and subscribe. It truly means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. It just helps my channel out. And I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, hi guys. Oh, we're getting pokey. We're gonna uh, cut to a really cool montage. All right, so girl, just we was moving too fast and then we lost it. Guys, so now we're at the Grove. This is what it looks like for everyone that's not been here. Uh, Hi, buddy. Hey, yeah. buddy. We're in Hollywood. Just finished in the Grove, and now we are skirt skirting back. He lives by Lily Pond. I didn't show you guys last time. It's okay. People thought I was actually shooting Lily Pond. I, I, I bet. Uh, I got messages saying like, Jade, I'm so proud of you. you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, my high school friends were like showing the Snapchat, and they're like, Jade, I never really believed in you at first, but good, good job. Oh my god. I was like, thank you. Damn. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Hey guys, okay, so we're gonna start on the first caller of the day. Yeah, this is Anya. This is Jade. <laughs> Hi Jade, oh my god, girl, thank you so much for picking me and for calling me. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you, Anya. How can I help you? I want to expand my Instagram and my YouTube channel to the English. But what I've been noticing is that I've um, I've been losing followers on Instagram and on YouTube. It's just not really growing. 
Got it. What's the what's the outcome you really want from this? Like, what's your goal? Awesome question. I was just thinking of that. So my goal is honestly to just grow in numbers because even now um, I'm I feel like I'm still really small in the journey, and I still get offers from brands, but the offers that I get they're not really that interesting to me. So it's either the brands that I don't. I wouldn't buy myself. I guess so you want more affiliate money because the right now the leads you're getting aren't as high quality so you want to grow your audience so you can get better quality brands, right? Yep, exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. so tell me why this is so important. How about if I have a magic power to give you the brands you want, who do you want to work with? I would love to work with Nike. I would love to work with Revolve. Um, yeah, so I like I watched all your videos and the video where you did the template. I sent it to them and they actually replied. They, were, they gave me an email to email them. Oh my god, congrats! Okay, so this is what I think you should do. Since you want money and you know who you want to work uh -huh. with, and I don't think you're honestly looking at your channel, there is nothing wrong at all. Like what? What? You're you're losing subs, so that means you're gonna have more engaged followers. Like that's even better. Your ratio is higher. Like, have you ever thought about brands don't really give a shit? <laughs> this is what I think for you. Because because you're, you already have a lot of videos and a lot of content. I don't know what your focus is. Maybe it is numbers, hearing it, your thoughts, but I think that could ultimately, ultimately kill you. So what I would do right now, so whenever people are in a decline mode or like maturity stage where the followers are kind of getting in a shit point where you don't feel like you can grow more, I would double down right now. Like instead of going like wide, where you just try to do multiple channels, multiple, more content, more ads, more, just more of everything. I would do super narrow, just one-on-one, -on -one, Q and A with your followers and subscribers who have been sitting there for a while, and just let them know that you have a loyalty program or something where you want to talk to them one on one. Because the one thing that creators do a lot is once they hit a point where they feel stagnant, is they try to go the reverse and ultimately do the thing that didn't bring them there. So what I would do right now, Anya, is if you want the brands, you have the best content in the world. I'm looking at your thumbnails, your engagement's high. They're gonna accept you. Go cold email 100 companies you wanna work with. And then in the meantime, just focus on getting a really good high quality loyalty program, whether it's more lives or maybe you have to do a little bit more DM replying or maybe you even have to do like more Q&A. But I think right now, I don't really see a huge problem. If you're in decline mode, I think this is a good like green light for some more loyalty. Do you do a lot of like one-on-one -on -one with followers? No, not really. What I do is I travel a lot. So when I go to a new place, I do like on Instagram, I post, hey, I'm going to do a QA. and a You can post your question and I'm going to take two kind of postcards from this new city. So I do that a lot. This is what I would do. If you really want to take it to the next level, like I would literally have the, the contest, give your followers some thank you. But instead of a postcard, make it so freaking lit. Like if I were you, if how many years have you been on YouTube? Consistently two. Oh, okay. Wow. Two years? Yeah. Like I started so late. It hasn't been that long. Okay. Anya, do yourself a favor, and since you have, there's some people staying for two years, some people not, I would just do a contest, run a contest, and it's like, the winner is going to be announced on my lives, which I do weekly, so you can drive more traffic and people stay, because YouTube, the thing with YouTube and Instagram is, they, they don't really give a shit about how many ads you can place, because I would place ads, but what I would really do, because you know, you can probably look at that up, is actually make people have a larger retainment. Don't worry about reach, impression, mm -hmm. more likes, more, do more about retainment, so look at your watch time, and actually, Instead of looking at, I don't know, followers, I want you to look at more. I know Instagram doesn't tell you the capacity of how long people look at a post, but if that's the case where you can see on your Instagram lives that 40 people are like consistently watching you from the 50 minute ad, or sorry, 50 minute live, I think that's a good little amount of data you can share to the brand, and the brand's like, holy shit, she's gonna get people an hour long of live, I'll send her a product. So this is what I would do, Anya, and you have to demand them a lot of money, because I think you're worth so much, and you've been here for two years, and your content looks amazing. So I feel, I don't, like, tell me if you agree, but I don't think you need to worry about followers as so much that you're ready to get brands because your engagement rate, I don't think at all is bad at all. Mm. Okay. Um, that's super helpful. Okay. Like, listen, Anya, I, I don't know what you want to DM re reformation or message them, but what I would do is get the best screenshot of your Instagram story or data of a live where you can screenshot them how many viewers. And instead of, look, they're not, the reformation smart. They're not going to look at your followers. They're going to look at, the fucking like likes and comments or like the actual people looking at they're gonna look at your story views they're gonna look at the weird stuff they're gonna ask you to open up your analytics so <laughs> i think right now just focus on like 
getting just some loyalty program and just thank people for being there so they can take their friends along too and then that's your little system that's a f cheap it's free so that's what i would do anya i hope that's what helpful all right anya best wishes i love you have a great day yeah you too bye Jay. thank you yeah. so much so listen guys i feel like we're all trying to grow 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 but this is one thing i really learned so this is us maybe right now and there's always a point where you grow tremendously right and then over time you'd mature and decline please do yourself a favor when you're reaching like the mature and decline phase don't do the th shit you did in the beginning it's not going to work just focus on the loyalty because in the growth space you need to make sure people stay so when even if you're lowering down the people that you actually had a loyalty program with will stay no matter what i think too many people want the too many people want the growth they want the reach they want impression not too many people want the retainment. How many people can you stay? How many people can you nurture in one year? Not just a few weeks. Got it? Got it. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Oh, I'm gonna be the next comment winner. Make sure you comment below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Good night.